Hey, hey, April. And today I have built a French cleat system, but this time for my hand tools. Um, if you've been watching my videos, then you've probably already seen the one I've built for my power tools. And ever since putting it in, I just absolutely love, love, love this system. I love how uh, very uh, visible and accessible it makes all of my tools. And so I've decided to dedicate a little time and came up with this guide. Now I will, I will be posting stats on um, my blog, which I'll leave a link for you in the description of the video, on how I built each one of my holders. But uh, let me go ahead and give you a rundown on each one. As you can see, my uh, wrenches and sockets all uh, stored on dowel rods. I have my standard and my metric. Um, now I don't really I don't really use sockets or wrenches too often. Um, however, they were my grandfather's, and so there's no way that I'm going to get rid of them. Um, so whenever I was designing both of these, I was just trying to figure out how to uh, take up as little space as possible, but still make it functional. So I have stored my sockets diagonally like this, but I imagine if you use sockets all the time, you will probably want to store them like this so that you could read the uh, the size. Um, so know that it's, you know, you could just build a shelf here and turn it up on its end so that the sizes are visible. And then of course this space here, I could always go back in and write in the size for each one, but um, I'm fine with the way it is. I have my reducers, my swivel socket, and then even a little holster for this little guy over here. So it's handy. Ratchets, uh, extenders, little dowel rod for this one, this little short one. Paddle bits. Paddle bits were actually interesting because on the paddle bit, the shafts are 5 16 And so I just drilled a 5 16 hole into this little ledge and slide them right through. However, the quarter inch uh, bit, the 5 16 down here, but a quarter inch up here. And so I couldn't drill a 5 16 hole or it would just slip on through. So I have drilled a quarter inch hole and just turned it upside down. Uh, my two grip tools, very simple, 5 8 uh, dowel rod just sandwiched into two uh, scrap pieces with a 5 inch hole. Actually, this whole system is made out of scrap, so it's really inexpensive. And then my screwdrivers, just have little slots for each one. Keep them in place. Easy peasy. Um, of course, I have more space to build on. I could always add another brace, but um, yeah, that's it. Oh, real quick before I wrap it up. Um, now, on these dowel rods, I'm sure that if I were to just go in at a regular 90 degree, it would have held them just fine. But I went ahead just to play it safe and put a 10 degree angle on them. And to do that, I just grabbed two uh, scrap pieces and put a 10 degree uh, cut on them so that whenever I laid it on the deck of my drill press, I could take the um, back piece here that I was going to be drilling those uh, holes in to store the dowel rods and it will automatically be at a 10 degree angle. So if you are going to be doing the same design, that's a uh, very quick way to do it. And I guess that's it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And check out my blog if you want steps. I'll see you next time.